Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Flex Class YouTube has been reporting in the last few videos, if you've been uh, following along, about Hurricane Adalia. Now, the first video was me coming back from Louisiana. The second video, well, that was me preparing for the hurricane's arrival. Now, I'm in a sit and wait position. The storm is probably about 13, 14 hours from landfall, and it's gonna happen somewhere in the Big Bend area. We don't know. It could be as close as Cedar Key, or as far away as maybe even Crawfordville. No one really knows. Maybe even St. Joe Bay. No one knows. I mean, all the computer modeling, and all the prognosticators from the Weather Channel and the National Hurricane Center, weather's still weather. So, we sit and wait. The first band just came through and our power actually flickered, but it did not go out. So you're probably wondering, well, what the heck are you driving around in your truck for? Believe it or not, one of my favorite pizza places is still open. So I'm gonna go grab a pizza and a salad because I've been eating lodge food. Not that it's bad food, but I've been eating the lodge food now for about a month and a half and I want something different. So I'm thinking if we're gonna be maybe down uh, without a whole lot of infrastructure when the storm goes by for a few days, I want at least one little slice of home. So I'm off to do that. But I will be keeping you updated uh, as the storm's going by this evening and talking to some of my friends like Ray Drummond at Florida Outdoor Experience. I'm gonna reach out to him. Uh, he's in Chiefland above me. Danny Allen, who's just inside Cedar Key. Um, I don't know if he's had to evacuate. I don't think he has. I think his property's high enough. Um, and, and talk to a few others. Find out what's going on so I can share it with you. I'll be right back. Well, after I get my pizza. pizza you remember that <laughs> well now we just sit and we wait just got the update it is now a category two with 100 mile an hour winds we're sitting here watching fox weather on the internet and it looks as if the storm will make landfall in about 12 hours, and it's gonna be somewhere in the Big Bend. Somewhere probably now, west of uh, Horseshoe Beach, um, between there and maybe a small town underneath Tallahassee called Crawfordville. That would put it far enough away that we barely get tropical storm winds here. Now there's gonna be straight line winds in the bands of storms because when you look at the cone, that's just where the potential for the eye wall is. The storm is massive. So right now I'm feeling a little bit better about not having winds that will exceed 50. Uh, probably have steady 20 to 30, maybe a few gusts around 40, 45 maybe. Uh, closer to the coast, though, downtown Crystal River, Ozello, Homosassa, Chasawitska, north of me in Yankee Town, and then up there where Captain Danny Allen is in Cedar Key, that is the greater worry because there, there's going to be storm surge. And the storm surge happens to time with our highest tide, uh, and it's a big king tide. So, flooding likely will be extensive in Citrus and Levy counties. So even though I'm going to be okay up here on the hill, it would seem, uh, of course, it's going to rain a ton and it softens the ground and I could lose a pine out there like I talked earlier about. But 
all the preparation is just still a necessary evil. And now it's just a long night with a lot of storms and just see what happens. I'll keep in touch with a few of my friends and make sure they're okay. And then in the morning, uh, as it's passing, we'll probably have a few hours of rain. And then hopefully by tomorrow afternoon, we might be able to find out what's going on uh, once news crews get out there and you start seeing stuff on social media and whatnot. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna sit tight, watch you know, Fox weather here and see what happens. Well, it's raining. Generator kicked on. Uh, it's about 4.30 in the morning. I've been uh, listening to the rain hit the roof all night long. And we've just got some breezy conditions here right now. Maybe winds 25, 30 miles an hour. You might be able to hear it. Uh, but that's why we have that generator, because you need it. Um, somewhere in the neighborhood, the pines must have taken out a power line and now that Idalia is at a cat 430 mile an hour winds the eye wall is about 65 70 miles from my house I would expect us to have some uh, deteriorating conditions as she makes the northeast turn going into the area just north of Steenhatchee Perry Florida it's gonna be a long morning because now I know we're gonna have some coastal flooding here in the Crystal River area, as the uh, as the as that storm turns inland, it's going to drive the water in. So I'll try to get you some updates from some friends. But thank God we got that generator. Uh, we can be without power for quite some time. Another big wave of heavy-duty thunderstorms coming through right now. It's about six o'clock in the morning. This is the front of my uh, house, so we're in the lee of the wind on this side. This side faces east, but uh, plenty of weather and a lot of concern for my friends from Cedar Key North. But uh, take my word for it, there's going to be a lot of coastal flooding that we're going to hear about from Pinellas County all the way to the Big Bend Zone, um, especially up there in Appalachia Bay. It's going, to be, it's going to be bad. You just have a bad feeling about this. Well, the front of my property has done all right. It doesn't look like much happened to the front. The eye wall got about 60 miles at its closest point to the property here and I live in northern Citrus County. It's about as close as it got. We've got a lot of um, a lot of rain over the last five or six hours and the generator's on because there's a power outage. So now let's go check the back and see if there's any tree damage in the back. That's my next worry. It's daylight now and I can survey what went on as the storm has been making its way through our zone and it looks like you know, I've got a tree limb down here looks like I got another tree here that's broke off I've walked most of the property so I've just got a couple of limbs down. That's not so bad, not compared to what most are going to be dealing with. Get the 
these huge gusts every once in a while where it, it starts to pump up to about 30, 35 miles an hour. But honestly, that's, that's not bad compared to about 50 miles north of here, 40 miles north of here, I saw some wind speeds on some of the apps where they're already up in the 60s, and that's kind of a constant speed. Those aren't gusts, that's constant. I have never seen frigate birds over my house. I live about seven miles inland, and there's literally frigate birds over my property right now how hard the wind's blowing it's pushed them in that's crazy I've never seen this ever living here I've seen frigate birds over the house it's crazy we got hawks we got owls I've seen all that even eagles never a frigate bird inland and I'm about seven miles uh, away from the coastline <laughs> as the frigate bird flies Well, the last 24 hours, they've been pretty hectic. Uh, everything from the preparation to enduring the storm. Appreciate everyone who reached out to me um, through Messenger, through social media, uh, through text. Concerned about myself and my family, but uh, we fared better than most. Um, living inland a little bit really does help a lot some minor tree damage and yard debris here. We had a power loss for several hours uh, last night through the morning, but that generator saved the day. But considering all that's taken place, very lucky. Now, uh, Citrus County and Hernando County suffered a little bit of wind, um, some wind damage, but it wasn't as extensive as counties to the north, like Levy County. Dixie County, Taylor County, all those counties to the north of us, that was closer to the eye wall. And when you have a Cat 4 make landfall, that that's serious stuff. Uh, here, the average wind in the Citrus County Nature Coast Zone was probably about 40, still gusting here, 40 to 50 miles an hour. Uh, but for the most part, it's the storm surge that has affected Citrus County. And there are a lot of businesses that are on the west side of US-19 that have flooded restaurants, hotels, homes, marinas. Um, they've all flooded. So it's going to be quite the cleanup project moving forward here in Crystal River. And, uh, and that begins, well, tomorrow. So that's the, the next video that you're gonna see. So I appreciate all of you following along through the last couple of videos about the approach of uh, Hurricane Adalia, uh, the preparation, and then uh, living through it. Now we're gonna talk about the aftermath and how we're going to go about helping our friends, our neighbors, and, and how maybe even you can help um, by, by getting, uh, whether it be goods or monies or what have you, to the right people so that we can get back on the road to recovery. So. Appreciate all of you. Thanks all of those that were concerned about the uh, flats glass and, and what's going on here in Crystal River. But uh, I'm going to walk you through the next step. And that video should start dropping tomorrow. Thank you all.